guys. Okay, it doesn't matter what you have come down with, what type of illness, cold, cough, flu, fever, nausea, vomiting, allergy, sinuses. It literally doesn't matter what you are diagnosed with, what you're feeling bad with. I, I'm telling you, I swear by um, purple onion tea or purple onion soup. I normally just call it tea because I mean, really that's all, I mean, that's really what it is. Um, it's just purple onions boiled with water and you boil it for one hour and it's literally like the cure-all. So um, this is not the first time that I have talked about this. I've talked about it a lot of times on my Facebook page. So if you want to follow for live videos, um, go to Slay with Dre McRae. You will find me on Facebook. And I even have a subscription where people can sign up and get personalized videos there. But you'll find it on the page there. Anyways, I've talked about purple onion tea for quite some time and this was maybe, oh my gosh, I don't want to say even a year ago, but it's been quite some time and I'm telling you the testimonies of people getting through their illness, their ailments, I mean, I got stories for days. <laughs> But if you are someone who has used purple onion tea to get over your illness, please drop it in the comments. Like this is definitely a place where you want to show people that this actually really does work. So as I'm chopping some purple onions, can you see what I, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing in the video. Okay, so I'm not doing anything special with the onions. I'm just cutting them in half and I am chopping like the front end off and the back end and taking off just normally I take off more than just one layer just because the the skin kind of freaks me out so yeah I just do that but uh, take for example one of my friends who's about this alkaline vegan life with me um, she's been trying to teach her family about it and you know, it's really hard for people to understand such a limited food list that um, we eat because, um, oh, I'm gonna put it in the description. Um, there's gonna be a video that I want you guys to watch. So the person that we follow is called Dr. Sebi and I don't wanna say we follow him completely, but a lot of what we know now comes from his way of teaching. And he's just, oh my gosh, you have to watch the video if you want to know more about my lifestyle. Like it's going to be very beneficial and honestly it's so worth it, especially because our health has dramatically improved, I mean dramatically. I used to have fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's disease. And a lot of these elements were completely, I don't want to say completely taken away because I do deal with fibro, but nowhere near on the basis that I used to. Oh, and by the way, I have a trash bowl because anytime that you're cooking, it's good to have a trash bowl. Um, but like my health has dramatically improved. The reason why we started eating Dr. Sebi's way was because my husband just started having seizures out of nowhere. I mean, I kind of know where they came from, but that's a totally different story for another day. Um, but it's like, uh-uh, you know, I don't want my husband on medications and neither does he. He doesn't want to be on medications for the rest of his life and especially like anti-convulsion medications. So we've been trying to find so many ways. Like I went through the rabbit hole of trying to find what can help heal him. And in trying to help heal my husband, it's like I healed I don't want to say healed because it's not like I'm all the way healed, but I'm healing myself. I'm healing my children. It's just amazing how much our bodies have improved in so many ways. But anyways, um, purple onion tea is just incredible. Um, we've been using this um, or drinking this for any little thing. Um, fever especially dude so my cousin um, she has a baby who's primarily or not primarily she's fully breastfed is she fully breastfed or does she eat 
No, she's fully breastfed. She doesn't eat. I believe she's less than a year old still. So she's fully breastfed. Um, her baby was sick, vomiting, fever. Ah! <laughs> okay, so just be careful. This is why I've been using this. Um, don't be like me. Uh, in fact, let me get one of my... Uh, one of my, um, como se dice, what are these called? Aprons. So recently I went to Mexico because I had to get a tooth pulled, which I want to do a video on that because a lot of people just, they just don't know how good Mexico is, dude. If you go to Mexico for your issues, like even going to a doctor is so much less inexpensive. Um, it's just so it's so good over there and even teeth cleaning i paid 200 for an extraction um my husband he was getting the metal fillings taken out and he had five that the metal was taken out and the composite was put in 450 dollars i'm telling you so um i will post a video about my experience with that but why am i talking oh yeah 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 so then after I got my tooth pulled, I wanted to um, treat myself because that was really scary. Like my anxiety was so bad and I wanted to treat myself. So I got cute, cute little aprons. Okay. Um, I got this one for my daughter, Bella. And this is so cute. I love Frida. And so I have Frida... I don't want to say everything, but I have several Frida aprons. I have this one here. I don't know where my, um, I have a, oh, is it? Nope. I have a sunflower one, but this one is another one, but I got it in Mexico. Los Algodones. So I live in New Arizona and it's right by the border. This one is not Frida, but look at how adorable this one is. And I love the colors. <laughs> like, it reminds me of my grandma and my abuelita, who on both sides, on my mom and my dad's side, my grandma's like always stayed in the kitchen, always cooked, like the husband. We have like a traditional uh, Mexican family, like the husband worked super duper hard and the wife stayed at home taking care of the children always cooking so it was like that on both sides of my family my nana and my grandma and so this this little apron type deal i don't know if this is a different name let me know in the comments but isn't it so cute so after i got my tooth pulled i bought a bunch of these this one i already had i didn't buy it recently but how cute right um anyways so until let me wash my hands until i post that video about um the tooth and my experience in mexico if you wanted to go there los algodones um the dentist is uh or it's at alamo dental okay alamo dental but yeah anyways so that was freaking traumatizing to go get my teeth pulled. It was just, it was a whole mess. It was a whole mess. And my anxiety was like super bad afterwards and I wanted to treat myself. So that's exactly what I did. Anyways, so do you see how I'm, at first I cut the cebolla in half and then I peeled off the skin and then I just, I'm cutting it in like fours, you know, boom, boom, Wham bam, thank you ma'am, you're good. Um, I had already put like half the pot with water and I put it on a high boil. So now I'm just putting the cebolla in. Um, I'm telling you, okay, so remember I was talking about my cousin. Well, her baby um, was vomiting, throwing up, like could not, I mean vomiting is throwing up, but <laughs> she couldn't keep anything down for um, three days, almost four days. She had taken her baby to the doctor and the nurse there, can you believe had the nurse to tell her to stop breastfeeding her daughter? Like the baby wasn't formula fed. The baby wasn't taking any type of jar of food. Like she was solely breastfed and the nurse had told her to, well, she's vomiting off of your breast milk, stop giving it to her. The nerve. 
So one day I was shopping at Walmart and I had seen my cousin. I was like, hey girl, how you doing? And she was like, man, I'm struggling. Like the baby is sick, blah, blah, blah. And we were literally right by the purple onions. And I was like, okay, girl, you need to get some purple onions and make some soup. So I literally grabbed a bag. She's looking at me like, okay, what's going on? She didn't look at me crazy. I think because she just knows, <laughs> like, she knows I know my stuff, you know? Like, I've been, I've jumped into this health world kick for quite some time. So, she knows, she knows that I got some secrets, you know? So, she's just listening to me while I'm filling up her bag with purple onions. And I'm like, listen, girl, this is what you got to do. You got to boil purple onions in spring water. Now, spring water is really just the best water to drink. I get spring water delivered from mountainvalleyspring.com. Um, if you want, you can go to findaspring.com to see if there's any natural springs in your area, or you can go to mountainvalleyspring.com and get spring water delivered in glass jugs. Now, it is a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it for us. We're paying like $30 for a five gallon jug. Um, but think about it, your, for us, it, it all absolutely justifies it. But we do have some people who look at us crazy, which number one, like first of all, it ain't your money, honey, okay? It ain't your money, you ain't paying my bills. But besides that, what are we primarily? We are primarily water, right? We're like more than 70% water, so the type of water we drink really matters. And alkaline water, spring water is naturally alkaline. There are waters that you can buy at the store like Essentia, where I think I'm saying it right, where it's not naturally alkaline, like it is made or it is altered to be that way. Like there's stuff done to the water to make it like that. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs and all the reasons, and I'm not a doctor, I'm unprofessional, like, you know, like, just listen, this ain't no argument, this ain't no fight, like, I know a lot of people get very just protective with their beliefs, which is totally okay. I'm just sharing with, you know, what me and my family are doing. So anyways, spring water is naturally alkaline and it has minerals in it. And it naturally has electrolytes, potassium, sodium, magnesium. Um, it is just a really, really good water. And with it not being touched by plastic, it's going to be supercharged for you. Um, whenever I had talked to our doctor about the water that we drink, he was like, wow, super proud of us for making the changes that we have. And I think that's really important whenever you, you know, you're trying to look for a natural way to live and heal your body. You want to look for holistic doctors. Um, that's going to be super important to, you know, get that type of support because the last thing that you want whenever you're on a journey of trying to, you know, heal your body naturally and trying to use foods and to, to foods and herbs to help you is you don't want to be discouraged by someone who's like, nah, you need medications. I mean, pump up your body with some pharmaceuticals. Like, yeah, so that ain't, that ain't the business for me and my family. I think I'm about done putting some purple onions in. I don't know how many I've used, but yeah. Um, let me go ahead and show you how. Okay guys, it's officially been over an hour. The reason why is because I went to Walmart because I needed to get a blender. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like after it's been boiling for quite some time. Um, now remember, my um, camera quality is gonna be not so well, but this is what the purple onion tea looks like. Let me put it in a cup. Look at how pretty that color is. So nice, warm cup of joe. Just kidding. Uh, this purple onion tea, like I said, is incredible. And um, while the tea was boiling for one hour, I actually rewatched what I just filmed. And I don't think my cousin's baby had a fever. I'm mixing it up with my friend's baby who did have a fever. 
um, she was sick for a few days and like was just not well at all. She had the her mom, my friend, my friend who does my ear piercings. Let me show you. I just got my forward helix done. Um, I got my tragus and my um, doth right here. And over here, I have my, obviously I'm wearing a wig. Okay, okay. But um, yeah, so my friend who does my ear piercings, um, it was her baby who was running a fever and had chills, took her baby to urgent care, and um, they said that it's probably just a upper respiratory infection that you don't want to prescribe antibiotics. And so when I was getting my forward helix done, um, I had told her, girl, let me tell you about purple and tea. And so um, she said she was going to go to the store and get some tea that night. Well, she ended up not going, but the next day she took her daughter to primary, her primary care physician. And it was the same thing. Like she's probably just sick with something, but he doesn't, he or she, I think it was a he. The doctor didn't want to prescribe any type of antibiotics just yet. Um, they wanted to see if the baby would get better by herself. And so that's when she just went ahead and bought the purple onions, made it, and then gave the baby a bath. And <laughs> literally, it's just, I... I, I don't know what else I can say to just like stress how incredible it makes me feel to know that there's mamas out there that, you know, can help their babies get better with a freaking purple onion. Like who would have thought, you know, there's so, and I feel like there's so many like mamas out there that have stories from their mamas and their mamas and their mamas of, you know, food that would help remedy and purple onions. Now, if there was a, an infection, what you could add in the tea is oregano because oregano is strong enough to kill staph infection, you guys. Like I've been able to, my daughters have had UTIs in the past and immediately oregano, or oregano, it takes it away. Like I will make a foot bath out of it. I will make them a steam with it. I will make them a tea with it. I will grind it up and have them toss and wash. Like there's so many different things that you can do naturally to help with the ailments. But one major way, which is the purpose of this video is purple onion tea. It's such a pretty color. Now what I recommend is if you make this, um, save some and put it in the freezer because it never fails. A lot of times us mamas, when our family gets sick, it's no problem. We're going to do everything we can to make them better. But when we get sick, you know, it's like, it's a little bit harder for us to find the motivation and the energy to, you know, actually make it for ourselves. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, this was a much longer video than I was anticipating. I thought I was just going to be like, listen, purple onion tea, you know, just purple onions, spring water, one hour, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. But <laughs> I hope you guys did like this video because I feel like y'all were kind of chilling in my kitchen and I think I want to film more videos like this uh, normally i just go live on my subscription on facebook to cook and do these things but this was nice because it was peaceful like that's why i love my subscription slay mafia shout out okay hashtag in the comments slay mafia if you one of my supporters um but the reason why i like it there so much is because you know it's calm and it's quiet and i don't get crazy comments and people can just let me Dre McRae be my crazy, loving, just full of life person without any interruptions. And yeah, so I think I'm just going to be recording a whole lot more videos of how we cook in the kitchen and you know what we do. And I have so many good, like, I don't want to say secrets, but um, concoctions as to what you can do to help your body and there's just so much education that needs to be put out there and I know a lot of people have really benefited 
from the things that I have taught them. So if you have benefited from Purple Onion Tea, write it in the comments, share your testimony, um, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with someone who you think could benefit. Okay, love you guys.